In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, I'm just about to show you how to model um, semi-organic, I would call this ring, using the sweep tool. And we'll learn also using photo view, the light version of Modo, how to do a um, glass render like this. File new. And if you were to make measurement for 3D printing, you would go millimeter here. And here the trick is to use three sketch, three separate sketch, two from the top and one from the front or right. So let me show you. So top plane, circle, click here. Okay, and exit the sketch. This is your first one. Now draw a new sketch on the same plane, like this. The circle, and this one you'll offset it. How much? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, something like this. You can always uh, move it like this back. I think it could go back a little bit. Exit the sketch. So we have, uh, I'm just middle click and drag. We have um, the two sketch on the top. And now I'm going to pick the front and I'm going to draw, sketch, a circle. Voila. We could go Control 8 for sure. The main thing we want to do here, actually I'm going to remove this to show you. Delete, that's the coincident. We want this, so we are editing this sketch, the small circle. We click here, shift click this one, and we do a pierce. Pierce, it's almost like a normal to, um, it's going to align them, it's like a normal to relation. And we're going to do another one here, but we need a point here. So I'm going to put a point there, like this, and then select this point, shift click this, and do another piece. So now they match. So here we could uh, sweep it already, it will work, but I want that ring to be a little bit more uh, interesting. So we go Ctrl 8, and we could change here the profile. Uh, on the inside is a bit more tricky because it's following a rail. But outside you should be able to do quite a few things. So I'm going to draw a quite large circle and move it back. And I just realized it's not big enough. So I'll just drag here. Well, something like this. And now I'm going to go trim like this perfect we could put chamfer or fillet so I'll go with uh, fillet here and this might be too big so let's try one mil yeah and we could go a hair larger 1.5 voila Exit the sketch, and now we can go on the feature sweep, select the cross, select the path. The outside one should be the first path. And here, under guide curve, we can pick the second one. I'm going to select the top plane, and uh, if we want a new plane, I can just go control drag. Or you could draw on the top lane too. You don't need a new one, it's just to show you. Uh, in here I'll draw another circle, Control 8 to be normal too. And I'll do one. And then I'll go Extrude, Cut. And say OK. Finally, we could also do a swept cut uh, to remove more, but or a 3D fillet like this to smooth out the transition a little bit. I think 10 is too big. We'll go 2 and 2 here. That's going to help us make the glass look like glass. What else did I do? I think I twisted it a little bit. I went insert feature. Flex, click here, go twist, 
and I think I just did uh, I forgot 18 degree just to give it a bit of an organic look and we could move the twist up too uh, and I think we're ready for rendering so we'll go make sure this is turned on photo view um, if not you go on the add ins and you turn on photo view so once again photo view is a small version of Moto we'll be using this tab quite a bit uh, this one also so the first thing I'm going to put on environment for lighting this one is pretty good so I double click and now we can see we have a few soft box that will light and we have a backdrop here so that's pretty good perspective to fake a camera so it looks like we have a perspective what else uh, we'll go edit scene to tweak our environment and this is where I can trick him and say x y and he will move this up we could also rotate the ring I'll show you how to do that too here you could change the, um, the highlight you see where the light are if you don't like it and to turn this we can a uh, quick way of doing it is feature move and click here make sure you're in uh, sometimes there's more menu here here this is the default one and you go use translate and here you could rotate it voila it's a hair too much but we'll get it uh, with this tool you can also make a copy so feature move and here you can say copy so now the new one you get a new one for the same price and you could do a different rotation on that new one things like this so let's find a sweet spot actually let's try it. preview so now mode also you said turn on perspective and we can try uh, different appearances so the organic you have uh, wood liquid the liquid are pretty good let me show you the red wine and you can say to the whole body or just the sweep if you want the inside to be different here I'll go the whole body voila and now we can also do one uh, this one is a bit dark so let's try another one and it should replace if it doesn't you can go here and remove it now here you can tell that there's too much refraction so you can go edit right click and you could change the color here it's as simple as this so let's make it red if it's too saturated you can go here tune down the saturation and maybe a bit the brightness and here if we go advance uh, illumination you can change you see the refraction I can go maybe 1.2 or 1.5 uh, here I actually prefer 1.2 and sometimes when I do ring I like to have um, contour have some little line trace so let me put another one here we have glass this is a thick glass so we can go thick another red one this is more like amber very dark so to get more light here one thing you can do is go back to edit scene and you could play with the environment here turn it and you might get a light from the side it's going to give you more like here and we can also go option and this is where make sure this is maximum this is usually eight I think and sometime on the glass it'll give you um, this is mostly for glass it'll give you black spots so sometime on thick glass I would go 12 or more if you're going to moto afterward if you're going to save this to an LXO put this at one zero here we can go contour this one and now you have to do a final here now if you do a final control middle click to pan 
zoom out a little bit uh, if you want to rotate this one more you can go insert feature uh, move again pick this one and you could rotate just a hell more voila so then we can go final render and here we'll get the ink so here it rendered the ink only that's a mistake it's sometimes I do this it could be very you can get very pretty ink uh, it's when I was on the edits uh, sorry option you wanted this one voila voila so now you can go uh, you could play with the bloom but I don't think here it's bright enough if you wanted to glow uh, you have to go down you see it's blowing up now here so here it's not uh, I use this mostly with metal and I'll show you a few tricks in Photoshop uh, we'll go that ring test and now if I go in Photoshop I can go image tone I use this a lot control shift F to uh, edit fade to uh, just put a little bit of it this algorithm is actually excellent 10 then we can do a color Control shift f then we can do a contrast just a hair and if we want we can even do a often with CG images I remove a bit of saturation just a hair and I compensate with the vibrance you can also if there's some dark area like here go uh, shadow highlight and bring it down a lot just like a hair you see and sometimes I don't think here we need it I will do also a filter a blue or yellow and I'll tune it down a lot here yellow could work and same thing Control shift F and here we're talking like just a grain of salt so you see I open it was like this and now it's like this here I prefer this one sometimes I color correct a lot and I go back and the beginning is actually nicer so. 